Hello students, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we will study about the egoistic interaction. Okay, this egoistic interaction is usually observed in the Stokes carbine. Okay, it is observed in the Stokes carbine. And it is not observed in Fischer carbine. We know there are two types of carbine, Stokes carbine and the Fischer carbine. And we also know that Stokes carbine is electron deficient, while Fischer carbine is an electron rich, correct? So this is an electron deficient species. And also here in the Stokes carbine, the metal is highly electropositive, right? The electropositive. The metal in the Stokes carbine is highly electropositive and it is having less than 18 electron species. Okay, the less than less than 18 electron configuration. Okay, uh, the metal in the Stokes carbine is having less than 18 electron configuration and hence it is an electron deficient system. Okay. And in these carbine, the agostic interaction can be seen. Okay. Well, and uh, remember, in the Stokes carbine, it is usually represented like this. M, okay, metal, double bond C, right. So, here, in the Stokes carbine, uh, we know that uh, one of the substituent will be hydrogen and another will be, uh, you know, any other group like uh, uh, alkyl group will be there okay either both can be r or one uh, at least one of the substituent must be r okay so now here i written one substituent as hydrogen okay this is the strokes carbine well, now whenever uh, the uh, hydrogen is uh, present as one of the substituent uh, for the strokes carbine then only this uh, agostic interaction will comes into picture Okay, so when hydrogen is present as substituent, okay, one of the uh, one of the substituent is hydrogen in the carbon carbon, then acoustic interaction will arise in the uh, system. Okay, now we will see. Now we know that uh, here uh, in the carbene, Stokes carbene or in the Fischer carbene, the carbene is sp2 hybridized, correct? The carbene carbon, this one, okay, this is carbon carbon is sp2 hybridized, okay? We know that uh, if the carbon is sp2 hybridized, then we expect this, okay? Let me write here, okay, we expect this, that is, the bond angle, no, here all the three bond angle is, uh, uh, you know, assumed to be 120 because it is having uh, sp2 hybridization, right? That is why all the bond angle was expected that uh, it is equal to 120. But whenever hydrogen is present as the substituent, then this is not the case. You, you do not observe this. Instead, what is observed is you will get the, uh, uh, something like this. Okay, kind of like this. Okay, so here this bond is there, no, that is metal, carbon and hydrogen. This bond angle is near uh, less than 90 degree or equal to 90 degree. Okay, that bond angle is uh, less than 90 or maybe sometime equal to 90. Okay, which one? This angle. Okay, and this MCR. Okay, here we expect to be 120, right? But here it is, uh, you get nearly 160. Okay, the bond angle here is 160. That means it is nearly linear. Okay, the linear means what? The angle must be equal to 180, right? This 160 is very close to 180. That is why we are calling this MCR bond is there, no? That is nearly linear as the bond angle is near to 180, okay? Like 160, 170, something like that, okay? So, this is how the structure of the Stokes carbon will be if one of the hydrogen uh, is present as a substituent on the carbon carbon, okay? Now, because of uh, this, Okay, because of this agostic interaction, uh, there is a certain uh, thing you need to consider. That is, here 
CH bond angle. Okay, the, uh, since uh, the carbon is sp2 hybridized, okay, for every sp2 hybridized carbon, the CH bond length is there, no? Okay, if, if the compound is having uh, C and H bond, then it is expected to be around 1.10 Armstrong. Okay, for a sp2 hybridized carbon, the CH bond distance is what? Nearly 1.10 Armstrong. But for the Schrock's carbene, this CH bond is there, no? Okay, for Schrock's carbene, okay? Schrock's carbene, the CH bond angle is found to be very longer. Okay, the CH bond angle is found to be very longer than 1.10 Armstrong. Okay, this is what uh, expected value for the CH bond distance if carbon is sp2 hybridized. But because of this agostic interaction, what happened to the CH bond distance? It will be usually longer than 1.10 Armstrong units. Okay, and this one. The stretching frequency, okay, in, well, for sp2 hybridized carbon, the CH stretching frequency is usually very higher, okay, is usually higher. But for this uh, Schrock's carbon, it is observed uh, at around 2600 centimeter inverse 1, okay. For Schrock's carbon, the CH bond, uh, the stretching frequency is uh, uh, 2600 or uh, sometime lesser than this okay 260 2600 centimeter inverse or less than this has been observed okay and also the coupling constant okay that is this one the coupling constant 13 ch coupling constant okay for sp2 hybridized carbon uh, this coupling con constant is nearly 130 hertz okay it should be near to one, uh, 130 hertz but for this Schrock's carbon this coupling constant is found to be uh, 100 okay that is less than this 100 or lesser than this 100 or less has been has been observed okay Okay, for uh, Schrock's carbon, what is observed? The coupling constant is found to be less than the, uh, you know, the normal value that is 130. That is, if we observe at uh, around 100 or lesser than that value. Okay, so these, these are, these distortions, okay, these distortions from the expected value is because of what? That is mainly because of presence of hydrogen in the Schrock's carbon, right? So, this interaction uh, of this CH bond, okay, here CH bond is interacting with the metal, okay, in the Schrock's carbon, since metal is electropositive and having less than 18 electron configuration, this CH bond or this uh, yeah, CH bond uh, will interact with this metal, okay, with this metal. And uh, this type of interaction of CH bond with the metal is referred as what? Agostic interaction, okay, agostic interaction. So, what is agostic interaction? How can you define it? Here, it is nothing but the interaction of a CH bond in the, uh, first you need to tell about Schrock's carbon. It is observed in the Schrock's carbon and if one of the, uh, the, one of the substituent is hydrogen, then only the agostic interaction will occur. So, here if the CH bond is interacting with the metal, then the distortion, like these distortions that we discussed, no? these distortion will occur and that distortion is mainly because of the CH interaction and hence it is known as agostic interaction. Okay. And this agostic interaction can also be defined like this. Okay. Let me write it. So, he here in the agostic interaction, what happens is that the hydrogen is there, no? That is uh, covalently, the covalently bonded covalently bonded simultaneously simultaneously both metal and the carbon 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 okay so in agostic interaction what happened 
uh, it can be represented like this if you have metal and this is a carbon and here hydrogen is there no that is simultaneously bonded to both metal and the carbon okay this is the pictorial representation of agostic interaction okay pictorial representation okay here hydrogen is covalently bonded to both metal and the carbon okay and here you can see there is a formation of three center two electron bond okay there is a three center two electron bond okay where is three center metal hydrogen and carbon this is a three center okay from uh, we, uh, from where you get two electron from the ch bond okay the two electron is coming from where from the ch sigma bond okay that is why it can be uh, told or uh, explained like this it is forming three center two electron bond okay so in the fischer carbene this agostic interaction doesn't comes into picture because we know that fischer carbene has 18 electron configuration okay the fischer carbene contains metal no that will have 18 electron configuration that is it is saturated correct so it, uh, there you do not get any kind of agostic interaction it is only observed in fischer carbene okay no sorry stokes carbene Okay, this is all about diagnostic interaction. If you have any doubt in this video, please let me know. Thank you.